Hey there, my name's David. On this episode today, we'll be doing a review and a bit of a comparison update to the new version of this tent, which is the Nemo two-person Hornet. Nemo came out with a new version of this tent, which is called the Nemo Osmo Hornet, which has a few upgrades, but for those of you looking for a deal, this is still a great tent. So let's compare what they did for the update and what you can expect if you were to get more of a bargain deal getting the older tent. So first off is some weight savings. This tent, they trimmed off little pieces of fabric all over. They made it, you know, just tightened it up a little bit to save a few grams. This one weighs 731 grams. This is the two person tent. The updated one weighs 657 grams. So there's a bit of a weight savings there. The next update they did with the Osmo upgrade is the fabric. They have a new patented Osmo fabric, which a lot of people complain with this one, and it's true. This thing soaks through once it's raining on it. Eventually this fly will soak through. So the new Osmo fabric is four times more water repellent and three times more stretch resistant when it's wet. Basically all around upgrades to the rain fly. They've also upgraded the poles to a top shelf DAC feather light poles, which has a bit of gram savings to it. Guy lines at the corners increase volume as compared to this tent. And a new Divi cube sack, which allows you to split the weight of the tent. If you're hiking with someone, they can kind of split it in half. The bag itself is designed to fit better in your pack to optimize space. Now, personally, I don't use those packs. I don't use any of those stuff sacks for tents. They, <laughs> they tend to not fit well. And if they do, it's still added weight you don't really need. You can just jam it in your bag. An added fly bar to add volume at the head, which really isn't that needed. If you look in here, it's, it's a pretty uh, spacious tent. There's a lot of headroom. You could even sleep on this side. This is designed for your foot box, but the headroom over here is quite substantial. They did add a nightlight pocket in here so you can put your headlamp in there and it allows you to kind of have that nightlight uh, effect. That is really appreciated in tents. Sometimes you have to spend a lot of time in your tent if it's really stormy, but you can get the same effect with these pockets down here, the one on each side. What it comes down to is a price saving for these kind of added features. And finally, they added gatekeeper uh, door tiebacks. These tiebacks work fine. They're a little bit noodly to kind of get it to, to fit through here. You can see, you gotta just stick that through there. It works though, it's fine. At 430 US dollars for the two person Nemo Osmo edition, the new version, you can definitely save a good 100, 150 bucks if you go with this older one. It just depends if you're willing to compromise on what they upgraded. comes down to this is a great tent the only downfall of the older version here really is the rain fly and it's soaking through after about four hours so if you're planning your trips out for rain and you're not really anticipating being in torrential downpours then I would say go for the older version you definitely get some price savings if you got the cash and you want a more water repellent rain fly then go with the newer one so you can see even though this is a two-person tent that's a 25 inch uh, wide Nemo tensor extreme and you definitely can't fit two uh, See how little space is in here. You can't fit two uh, 25 inch pads. You'd be squeezing in two 20s. So it's definitely a small two person tent or a very luxurious one person. You have this in the middle. See, lots of space around you. So definitely, um, or if you had a dog, this would be good for one person and a dog, but a very cramped two person tent. One thing I really like about this tent is it's super easy to set up. After you stake out the four corners, putting the fly on, is as simple as just taking this little clip and hooking it on there. It's really easy. And the tent pegs themselves just clip into this little, this little notch here, which is super easy as well. My final review of this tent, it's a great tent and it actually weighs very similar to the Dan Durson X Mid 1. Now this is a two person tent and you could squeeze two people in there if you really needed to, but this is really a really comfortable one person tent, but it weighs about the same as the one person X mid. The vestibules aren't as big as the X mid one, but the inside is bigger. So it's kind of a trade off for me personally. I always have a lot of camera gear. If you carry a lot of electronics, then you'd have more space to put them in there. You can go lighter and get the one person. You still have vestibules, enough space to put maybe your backpack and your shoes and stuff. Uh, but not too much. I like to have a little extra buffer room with the vestibules just in case the, the rain is pouring and kind of swirling around your tent. Obviously you want to pick a, a good place to pitch it just so that doesn't happen, but you never know. But in general, this is a great tent. I'd have to rate this one a nine out of 10 with only one point being reduced for the uh, rain fly soaking through, which is something they have addressed with the updated version of the tent. A great tent, just an expensive tent. Hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video of old to new updated tents. Um, I try to do this as much as I can as I get my hands on this stuff. I borrowed this tent from my friend as a, uh, just as a disclaimer. I've got a lot of friends with a lot of gear, so I've been borrowing stuff, especially through the winter when people aren't using them that much. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.